Hello, welcome to this business coach kit training session. If you're just starting out as a business coach, you need a clear vision to provide context for your business plan and activities. In this coaching session, we're going to cover how and why you need to define a vision. A vision statement provides you with a clear picture of what you're going to achieve through owning your coaching business. It should be motivating for you and provide a sense of purpose. It provides a basis for major decisions and it helps you set short, mid and long term objectives. So a vision statement needs to be motivating for you. It needs to speak to you. It needs to be resonate with your values. It needs to describe a particular point in time. It needs to be concrete enough to be able to describe your business and what it does. Usually has some concrete quantifiable dimension, usually financial, such as turnover or profit. And it needs to be written down, uh, so something that you can refer to as your business grows. Once you've got your vision statement, you can develop your strategic objectives. These are significant and, uh, and ambiguous milestones along the way. So first client would be a significant and unambiguous milestone. Uh, break even would be another significant and unambiguous milestone. Use it to develop your business plan. So this puts some numbers and activities around what you're trying to achieve. And then once your business is up and running, use it to evaluate what you're doing with your time. Ask yourself the question, how does this activity move me towards my vision? So I don't know what your reasons are for being a business coach, but here are some possible or typical or reasons that, that, that people have said that they uh, that uh, made them want to be a business coach. So to make money is a pretty good reason. It's a popular reason uh, to get away from working in a large business where you're not your own boss. You want to control your own life. Perhaps you want to balance, uh, you know, the time you spend working and the time you spend with your family to help other people. And actually, I'd say if you don't want to help other people, you're not going to be a very good business coach. This probably needs to be a big part of why you're doing it. Uh, coaching is interesting, varied and challenging. So, you know, it's a really rewarding thing to do. And it develops you as a person. Um, as you work with clients and teach them how to run their business, you, you learn a lot as well. Uh, it's important to some of us to make a difference and to put something back. So there are some possible reasons. Um, and possibly yours are there or possibly yours are quite different from those. Um, there's loads of <clears throat> frameworks online for creating a vision statement and within the business coach kit there's all, there are a number of tools for creating uh, a vision statement but because uh, business coach kit is about systemization the visioning tools are more relevant and appropriate for a business that's achieved a certain size already so perhaps not ideal for where you are but here's a simple um, framework you can use uh, what you need in your vision statement is a quantified overall overall goal some kind of idea of who you're going to be coaching something about what's going to be different about the way you coach uh, how are you going to grow the business and none of these uh, this last one not necessarily essential but something about your values and beliefs often uh, helps to round out the vision statement so here's some examples of quantified overall goals to retire at 60, um, to sell my coaching business for a million in five years, um, to be the most successful coach in my area in three years. I don't know what your area is, so we may probably need to work on that a little bit. To have 100 clients worldwide by 2025, that's, um, that's quite a nice one. And, uh, you know, not all of us want to make money, so maybe to create a free online coaching resource for business owners. Is, is something that you can uh, relate to. Here are three example markets. So independent dentists, there are coaches that focus only on dentists. Maybe tech and pharma and series A investments. So they've gone through seed and now they're, they've got a bit of money and are starting to hire people and launch into market. So they need coaching. Uh, or female business owners between two and 10 employees. So, you know, there are coaches that focus really on on uh, female business owners. So all good uh, niches those. You need a unique proposition. So maybe you've got a unique 
business modeling tools. In fact, there are franchises where um, they they base uh, their, their proposition to you, the coach, on having these unique tools. To be the least expensive business coach in my area, I mean, nothing wrong with that as a strategy. It wouldn't be one I chose, but, you know, if you, if you go for it and you can deliver it, well, why not? To be the most qualified coach. So I'm going to go out and get all of the possible business qualification business coaching qualifications and that's going to really help me get customers or finally really the one that you're buying into with business coach kit which is a differentiated approach in this case systemization which is targeted at a particular kind of business so engines of growth is really about marketing and sales here are four fairly standard ones networking email marketing referrals or leaflets so it gives you some idea in the vision, okay, we're, this is how we're going to grow our business through word of mouth or being good online or whatever it might be. So bringing that together, here's an example vision statement. Um, so in three years' time, I'll be earning $80,000 per year coaching the owners of tech businesses within 20 miles of here, wherever here is. My clients are going to be not only tech businesses, but they're going to employ between that and that people. And they'll value a blend of technology and service expertise. I'm going to grow on referral marketing. And by the way, part of my reason for being a coach is so that I can spend some time doing um, helping startups uh, free of charge. So here we've got our quantified uh outcome in a, in a particular period of time we've got um, our target market tech businesses in this area this size our USP they they value this particular blend of technology and service expertise that uh, that, that I have in this case um, here's my engine of growth I'm going to use referral marketing and I've got something about my values why am I doing this so it's going to free up my time to do some pro bono work So your vision will obviously be different, but it should perhaps have those, um, those elements somewhere within it. So in summary, you need a compelling vision to keep you on track and motivated as a business coach. You need to know why you're doing things. Um, good visions have quantified aims in them. Um, you also need to be convinced that you have the means to do this. So I, you know, I have a, a specialism or a unique angle on this that means I can grow and, and, and is going to support the marketing. And having got the vision, this forms a basis of your plans and activities. Okay, that's it.